of today, 41% of Africa's population is living in cities. According to the United Nations, this number is anticipated to climb to 50% by the mid-2030s. What does this mean for the sustainability of African cities? Let's explore this. Urbanization often strains the capacity of government to provide residents with basic services such as water supply, electricity, and transportation. This threat to constrained resources is an ideal opportunity for African cities to leapfrog into being smart cities. There are many definitions of a smart city. I would define a smart city as one that incorporates ICT solutions to enhance the quality and performance of urban services in order to reduce resource consumption, wastage, and overall costs. Rwanda's capital city, Kigali, is a perfect example of this transformation. Last year, this city was listed as one of the top 50 smart city governments in the world. How did Kigali achieve this exemplary transformation? In 2015, the government issued its Smart City Master Plan through to 2020. Some of the key deliverables of the plan include a 24-hour self-service government, cashless and paperless government, Smart Rwanda contributing 10% to GDP. It's impressive that as of May 2018, the country has achieved a nationwide rollout of fiber optic cable and 4G LTE network in partnership with two private companies. The success of this project highlights the importance of strategic partnerships between government and private sector, as it is estimated that Africa needs to spend close to $170 billion annually to meet the continent's basic infrastructure needs in urban areas. But what will happen if we don't develop smarter cities? Our electricity, water, and waste utility services will most likely lag behind in developing new business models that will allow the infrastructure and systems investments to be maximized. The topic of future cities will be discussed further at the upcoming African Utility Week and Power Gen Africa. Don't forget to subscribe below for more insights. Thank you for watching.